Now at five and streaming on CrossroadsToday.com, a couple arrested accused in the death of their adopted child, the child found inside a washing machine. The murder trial in the case of 59-year-old Rosemary Garza has reached a verdict. And the student charged with killing three University of Virginia football players and hurting two other people denied bond. We're on the chilly side with light drizzle. We could see heavier rain with even colder air moving in Friday and into Saturday. We'll talk all about it. Plus, the man accused of fatally shooting a Houston police sergeant in November 2020 was found not guilty. You're watching 25 News Now at 5. Good afternoon, I'm James Munoz. And I'm Karina Garcia, thank you for joining us. A Victoria County jury has sentenced a woman to 38 years in prison for murdering her husband and 15 years for tampering with physical evidence. 59-year-old Rosemary Garza pleaded guilty in the death of her husband. Authorities say she reported her husband missing back in June of 2019. Authorities found the body of Mario Garcia in the 1000 block of Beck Road West. The couple was married for more than 40 years. Deputies in Houston called Called to a house after getting a call from a couple who said their seven year old adopted son was missing. They said he last seen at 4 a.m. Well, after conducting a search, investigators found the child inside a washing machine in the garage. 42 year old Jermaine Thomas charged with murder, capital murder. 35 year old Tiffany Thomas is charged with injury to a child by omission. They were arrested yesterday. Jermaine's bond is set at $2 million. Tiffany's bond at $150,000. A driver ran into a group of Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy recruits out for a training run this morning. 22 recruits were hurt by the wrong way driver. Five of them are in critical condition. It's unclear if the driver was arrested or exactly what led up to the incident. The 22 year old driver is in minor condition. Christopher Darnell Jones Jr. is accused of shooting his fellow students after a field trip last Sunday. The shooting happened on the bus after returning to the Charlottesville campus. A prosecutor says Jones shot one of the players while he was sleeping. He faces three counts of second degree murder and two counts of malicious wounding. Jones remains in jail. He's assigned a public defender until a status hearing in December. Late Tuesday night, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office arrested this man on theft charge it, charges. It happened on the southbound area of U.S. Highway 59 near the Jackson County Airport. Authorities found a stolen trailer during that traffic stop. It was a Kubota skid steer. Christian Contreras from FAR was booked into the Jackson County Jail. Angry family members of the Uvalde school shooting victims vented their frustration at the county commission meeting today. The subject of their anger, Lieutenant Mariano Pragas, who wasn't there. Pragas is the acting police chief and recently re-elected county commissioner. CNN uncovered a conversation between Pragas and dispatch this week, indicating he knew children inside the classroom needed rescuing. However, he didn't act in time. He was trusted to protect and serve. But not only did you turn your back on poor Chloe's desperate 911 calls for help, but you washed your bloodstained hands and walked away from children and teachers that were being tortured with kicks to the arms, head, body, spit on and laughed at while lying there dying with gunshot wounds. Uvalde Mayor Don McLaughlin says Pargas won't be with the police department by the end of the week. The independent internal investigation into the Uvalde Police Department is expected to take another 60 to 90 days. The University of North Texas Health and Science Center issued a lockdown this Wednesday afternoon due to an unspecified threat. Fort Worth police responded to the area and searched the facility. They additionally filed calls for a person on campus with a weapon. However, after searching the area, the report was deemed to be a false alarm. The subject in question was mistaken for carrying camera equipment and not a weapon. All right, it was got uh, cold in the newsroom, needed oh, my freezing. jacket. See what Howie says. Uh, is it going to be cold for much longer? Um, I think probably for about another week in terms of cold for you guys. Well, for me too, I think it's cold too. And for South Texas, it's probably really cold because we're 20 degrees below average temperature. -wise. Here's what we're looking like for the future. So we're dropping down, staying in the 30s and 40s overnight and barely getting out of the 50s 
during the daytime. So yeah, the cold is, is, is staying and it's also on the way to cool us down some more. Coastal areas a little dusty, get away from the water, not as bad. 40s for tonight and then overnight 44 degrees. So the cold is here to stay and believe it or not, we're looking at rain and even cooler temperatures. We'll talk more about that coming up. James, Karina. Howie, thank you. NATO's chief and the president of Poland believe there aren't any indications the missile killing two people was a deliberate attack. Ukraine likely launched the missile in defense of Russia's air assault. Yesterday's incident came as Russia launched missiles and drones damaging Ukraine's power grid. President Biden believes it was unlikely Russia fired it. The NATO chief and others laid overall blame on Russian President Vladimir Putin's war. Family and friends of a slain Houston police sergeant are stunned after hearing the man accused of killing him was found not guilty. 26 year old Robert Solis visibly relieved by the verdict, not guilty. Moments later, he turns to his family and mouths, I told you so. The judge would allow only video from the courtroom. There are no words needed to describe this disappointment. They're extremely disappointed. They're, they're in shock, uh, as they should be as we all are. And I just ask the citizens of Houston to keep them in your prayers because this is going to be difficult for them. Four children have to grow up without a dad. Houston Police Sergeant Sean Rios off duty but on his way to work was shot and killed in November of 2020 along the North Freeway feeder road during what police believe started as a road rage incident. He and the alleged shooter who fled the scene but was later identified as Robert Solis exchanged gunfire. Solis was arrested the next day. After a two week trial that started in July and had a couple of delays due to jury and lawyer health issues, the jury deliberated today for about seven hours. The officers, friends and family stunned by the verdict. You can't drive down this street and uh, just take matters in your own hands and just start shooting at people. It's it's it, it boggles the mind. But Solis's attorney always claimed his client was just acting in self-defense and that he didn't know Rios was a police officer. Quote, I'm greatly relieved because this should have never happened. They did not have a shred of evidence that this was more than self-defense. They put this man and his family through hell for two years, but I'm relieved because the damage wasn't for life because it could have been for life. The district attorney's office also said they're disappointed and Solis did not get to walk out a free man. We will see him in the criminal justice system again. I can guarantee it. For now, he remains in jail, still facing drug and aggravated assault charges from two previous shootings. He was also charged in September with having a prohibited substance, marijuana, while in jail. So while tonight he's celebrating an acquittal, there are more court hearings for him ahead. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. The Salvation Army of Victoria's Red Kettle volunteer sign-up scheduled for Saturday is canceled. The Salvation Army of Victoria, though, is hosting a food box distribution Saturday. The distribution of 500 boxes of food is from 10 a.m. to noon at the Salvation Army of Victoria Home Office, 1302 North Lewis Street. Now, due to street construction there, volunteers will hand out those boxes on the San Antonio street side of the Salvation Army headquarters between Laurent and Nueces streets. This brings us to today's viewer poll. You can scan that QR code right there on your screen to participate. Now the question is, do you plan to volunteer for the Red Kettle campaign? Yes or no? You can also come to crossroadstoday.com slash vote to participate. We'll have what you and your neighbors are saying on 25 News now at 6. Here's the top headlines you'll find in this week's Port Lavaca Wave. Calhoun High School honored veterans with a Veteran Day program. Travis Middle School is hosting a public meeting for input on its targeted movement plan on Thursday. And law enforcement made 22 arrests in the past week. You can read these stories and more at theportlavacawave.com. Stay with us straight ahead on 25 News Now at 5. A 55 year old veteran from Grapevine found guilty in the January 6 attack. Also ahead, an explosion at an apartment complex left 12 people hurt. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. 
Get $1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy Cyber Cash. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright. So, this Black Friday, choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Plus, thousands of vehicles are arriving daily, just in time for the holidays. This Black Friday, custom order a select 2023 Ford vehicle today. Lock in your rate and you're protected during the Shine Bright sales event at your local Ford dealer. Hi there, and welcome to Hall Lighting and Design Center. One of the factors that has made Hall Lighting and Design Center the premier destination for home decor, furniture, lighting, and ceiling fans is our commitment to staying on top of industry trends and designs. We are continually receiving new merchandise in our store, and our expert staff creates magic with product groupings guaranteed to spark your imagination. Stop by our 12,000 square foot showroom and see for yourself what's arrived today. Hall Lighting and Design Center on Navarro in Victoria. Are you ready to change your career path? Come join our sales team at the Victoria Television Group. Do you have a passion for customer service and sales? This is the right place for you. We offer great benefits, medical, dental, life, 401k, pay vacation, and much more. Call me and let me show you why the Victoria Television Group sales team is the right choice for you. A 55-year-old veteran who entered the Senate chamber in military gear during the January 6 riot is found guilty. A federal judge in Washington, D.C. found Larry Brock guilty of several misdemeanors and the felony of obstructing law enforcement. Proceeding during the Capitol riot, he's from Grapevine and faces a maximum of 20 years in prison. He's likely to get far lesser sentence. Brock's sentencing is in February. At least 12 people were hurt after an explosion at a residential building in Maryland this morning. Two are in critical condition. More than 100 firefighters and rescue teams responded to the scene. At last report, crews were still working on hot spots. They're also making sure everyone is accounted for. We do not have a full accountability of all of those units yet, so we can't say, don't know if there's unaccounted for people. Authorities are investigating what caused the blast. They say gas from the basement fed that fire. About 30 asylum sleekers were on the bus leaving Del Rio yesterday. Texas leaders were sending buses with thousands of migrants to sanctuary cities. Volunteers met the migrants this morning with hygiene kits and essentials before they were taken to a welcoming center in North Philadelphia. One child was reportedly dehydrated and required care. Governor Greg Abbott announced yesterday that he wants the migrants going to Philadelphia. And talking to the guys on the bus, we can tell that they, they are, they're exhausted, they're, 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 they're tired, they are, they are, you know, they're, they're happy that they, they're getting to a place that they feel welcome, you know, providing the jacket, their children in the group, and most of the migrants uh, are from Colombia, in this case, uh, people from Central America, from Dominican Republic, from Cuba. And we're standing by, I mean, again, our, our diversity is our strength. Mm -hmm. And we're standing by to help any way possible. And I'm sure that a lot of people watching this newscast are going to feel compelled to also help out because we're a welcoming city, we're a nation built by immigrants. Texas has transported more than 13,000 migrants to those cities since April, a move described by critics as a political stunt by the governor. New information on an experimental treatment for Alzheimer's that shows disappointing results in clinical trials. Here's more on the drug's failures and why some Alzheimer's experts say they're still reviewing the data. In the fight against Alzheimer's disease, it was a promising new drug. But gantanarumab failed to help people at high risk of memory loss from Alzheimer's or those who were in the early stages of the disease, according to data from clinical trials. We are disappointed, just like I know that families would be. Gantanarumab is part of a class of injected drugs designed to remove sticky protein pieces called beta amyloid from the brain. A buildup of those pieces is a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. The drug company says this particular drug appeared to remove less of the protein pieces than expected. Clinical trials showed it didn't significantly improve brain function and memory. The company says based on these results, all studies with this drug 
will be stopped. I think there is a silver lining. Um, the drug didn't meet its primary endpoint, and that is disappointing, but it did actually help us understand more about this particular strategy. And there's still hope for that beta amyloid removal strategy. Maria Carrillo with the Alzheimer's Association says this drug just didn't remove enough to get significant benefit in patients. Right now, there are other beta amyloid reducing drugs being tested. This is an incredibly exciting time for this particular strategy, but there are so many other strategies coming up right behind it. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Here's the top headlines you'll find in this week's Quero record. The city of Quero records its largest population in history, and nearly 50% of DeWitt County voters cast ballots in this midterm election. Plus, the Quero community breakfast returns. You can read these stories and more at DeWittCountyToday.com. Grab your cell phone, scan this QR code, our quick response code, to download the Crossroads Today app. Watch us wherever, whenever, get breaking news alerts, vote in our viewer polls, submit news tips, videos, and photos, and know about our ongoing contests. Howie? Just when you thought it couldn't get rainier and cooler. Well, we'll talk all about it coming up. We often have questions from other friends that want to know why we go to a wellness doctor. And I can tell you why. We have been going to Dr. Lay for 16 years. We don't live in Victoria, but we'll drive because she's worth it. When you establish a trust with a doctor like we have, Problems that we had 16 years ago have disappeared completely because we listened to her. She knows what she's doing. We have experienced her hormone treatments. We can vouch for the pellet system, which we both did. We have also lost a lot of weight through her program and advice because we eliminated sugar, the culprit for everything. We feel that her advice has made us strong senior citizens. Thank you, Dr. Leigh. After my surgery, I was very happy that Dr. Richardson checked in on me, and now I'm six months out. I feel great, and I'm very happy for the job that he did. Two years ago, I had a neurostimulator surgery implant help me out greatly. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. At the Richardson Spine Institute, we ensure that the most advanced spine technology is being used and each patient receives personalized care. Call for an appointment and live beyond pain. We have your back at the Richardson Spine Institute. Hi, I'm Chief Fox with the Victoria Fire Department. As temperatures rise this summer and plummet this winter, not to mention hurricane season, residents may find themselves plugging into generators to deal with the unexpected power outage. Always use a portable generator outside at least 20 feet away from your house. Make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector in your home before using a generator. Use a single outdoor rated extension cord to power one appliance at a time. Before operating a generator, make sure you're familiar with the manufacturer and safety guidelines. Follow these tips and you'll be ready to use your generator safely. No matter where you call home, you deserve reliable coverage. At T-Mobile, we cover your town and 99% of people in America. And now for a limited time with T-Mobile's hometown discount. Families and small businesses who switch at a local store get 20% off. That's 20% off unlimited talk, text, and data for the life of your plan. Plus, with our T-Mobile price lock, we guarantee we won't raise the price of your rate plan. Get T-Mobile's hometown discount today. Sun going down just in a few moments out in Cuero. See some nice blue. We have some upper level cirrus clouds, a few stratus clouds as well. But sharp, sharp shot out there in Cuero. So, okay, what happened today? 50 degrees? <laughs> that was our high. So, the clouds prevented us from really falling too greatly overnight, but also prevented the sun from warming us. 50 degrees, almost 25 degrees below average. So I would say yes, that is chilly. I, I'm not going to say cool anymore. I think it's on the cold side. That's a low temperature for winter. Our average highs in the winter are 66. Maybe the low would be about 50, but this, this is a high temperature today, 50 degrees. We hit 90 back in 1938. Nothing in the way of measurable rain, rainfall, even though we're seeing a little bit of drizzle here and there on the radar. Here is what we have just really light drizzle, and this is what we can see in the next couple of days until that boundary on Friday into Saturday comes down. That could strike up some more active showers. But for now, light drizzle, most locations not seeing a drop of rain. Now these dropped as well. We were 60s 
upper 50s a couple days ago. Our latest intrusion of that cooler air. Yeah, now we're down into the 30s and the 40s. Okay, we're about 50 degrees right now. Let's go with our future, uh, our future uh, fuel like temps. Just we're just not getting any warmer. Dropping into the 30s in portions of the viewing area. Again, some of these temperatures could be worse or lower for that matter. That cloud cover that will hold in some of that heat from escaping into the atmosphere, but it's also again doing the job in the daytime, not warming up like we should be. Not that we're going to be at our 74, but we could be a little bit warmer. So we're staying on the cool side right into Friday. Now again, the high pressure is throwing that cooler air out of the northeast into the coast. Then you're seeing those those um, spikier winds, those, those stronger winds and gusts along the coast. You get away from the water. Winds really not too bad, maybe just five, six, seven miles per hour. This is what we're working with now. I talked about the high. It's, you see it's clockwise rotation. It's pulling that cooler air out of the northeast, pulling it into the crossroads, striking up the winds, spiking up the winds on the coast. That high will start to scoot off a little bit for now, keeping us on the dry side. But as it's going to move off, what's happening now is that cooler, dry air is still moving down. And it's undercutting some disturbances and moisture pushing in from the south. That undercutting is enough lift to create those showers mostly on the coast or even just light drizzle here over the land. But what's going to happen? That high is going to move out of the way. And then this, now I can say this Arctic intrusion because this one um, arrived from the north. Now, obviously, this air will modify into the lower latitudes, get a little warmer. But yeah, we're looking at some cool air once again. Friday night into Saturday, this boundary is going to push through, strike up some more showers, and then that cool air is going to continue to pour in to the crossroads. So not until that boundary comes on Friday into Saturday do we start to see some more steady rainfall and maybe even a couple heavy bands. Small craft advisory, so again, be very careful on the waterway. 44 for tonight, partly cloudy, not too bad. Tomorrow, though, just a high of 56. Again, we could see some light drizzle. Looking ahead in Quero, 47 on Saturday with some showers. And then on the coast in Port Lavaca, in the 40s as well, with an 80% chance of rain. And then right back here in Victoria, 48 degrees. That, that's a cold day in the winter, and we're not even there yet. Good news is, look at the end of the week. Tuesday, Wednesday, we start to see a little bit of a warm-up just in time for Thanksgiving. For more weather, news, and sports, you can go to our app. That's at CrossroadsToday.com, and that is free with any Android and iPhone. Karina James, back to you. Howie, thank you so much. Coming up next on 25 News Now at 5, we're going to take a look at Wall Street plus... An investor of the now bankrupt crypto exchange, FTX, is suing celebrities who endorse the platform. This is a BFD Black Friday deal from Optimum, and it's our best deal ever. Get 300 meg internet for as low as $30 a month for two years. Find out how you can get up to $300 in Visa prepaid cards with Showtime included for one year. Go from 300 meg internet to over $520 in total savings with this BFD from Optimum. Call 866-9-OPTIMUM or visit Optimum.com slash BFD now because our best deal ever won't last long. Get closer, go farther with Optimum. If you paid more for your car insurance this year than last year, give us a call at Fred Loya Insurance or visit us at fredloya.com. My insurance rates went up more than 50%. That's when I call Fred Loya. My insurance went up over $100 a month. That's $1,200 a year. So I called Fred Loya Insurance. If you think you're paying too much for your car insurance or if your renewal rates have gone up, start paying less and call or visit us online at friendloya.com. Have you been told you have to live with your wound? There is hope at Pam Outpatient Wound Care. At Pam Outpatient Wound Care Clinic, you'll find the latest technology and the most committed and caring professionals dedicated to your wound healing. Our experienced wound healing experts and multidisciplinary team specialize in preventing amputation and preserving limbs. I uh, began hyperbarics here. I'm walking and have the leg, which is the best part. Come see us at Pam Outpatient Wound Care, where healing starts here. Wouldn't be the holidays without HEB. You make it feel like Christmas. Kimberly and Angel lost their 10 year old daughter, A. Marie, in the tragic Uvalde school shooting. She'll never know I was trying so hard to get in there. The friend who tried to save her. 
She said, they shot my best friend. She said she was laying there, not breathing, so she hugged her. While saving herself. She smeared blood on her to make it look like she had been shot. A Dr. Phil exclusive. Taking a look at your stocks, the Dow down 40 points, the S&P down 32 points, and the Nasdaq down 175 points. Oil down $1.33, closing at $85.59 a barrel. Lawyers for Edwin Garrison filed a lawsuit against FTX's founder, Sam Bankman Freed, as well as public figures like Tom Brady, Giselle Bündchen, and Steph Curry. The lawyer behind the proposed class action suit claims FTX was a Ponzi scheme, saying it was only successful with the help of celebrities and influencers. FTX imploded last week, collapsing and filing for bankruptcy. Bankman Freed also resigned as CEO of the giant crypto platform. Job cuts are underway at Amazon. The online realtor plans to cut around 10,000 workers. Amazon says the initial cuts will impact positions within its devices and services team. It also blames its consolation of some teams and programs for the layoffs. The company hasn't said how many employees will be impacted by this initial stage. Workers received notices on Tuesday and will receive support and assistance in finding new jobs. Stay with us. We'll take one last look at your forecast. Plus, a new study suggests cats aren't ignoring their owners. Their reactions are just very subtle. Palace Bingo is open and our customers' health is our main concern. We installed UV lights in our building for your safety. These UV lights kill harmful germs in the air and combat COVID-19. Plus, our employees have masks on, Hand sanitizer stations are available, and we have plenty of room for each of our guests to enjoy. We also sanitize the hall after each session. And don't forget, our UV lights keep the air clean. Palace Bingo, where friends meet friends and friends Palace win money. Bingo, where friends meet friends. <laughs> Tonight, Big Sky returns. We're in a lot of trouble here. With a deadly twist. <sighs> El Campo Cycle Center is headquarters for Honda, Suzuki, Polaris, and Can-Am. We carry everything from dirt bikes and street cruisers to all-terrain vehicles, parts, clothing, and accessories. We service what we sell. Check out our lineup of bad boy riding mowers and Ranch King trailers. Be prepared with a dependable Honda generator. Best selection, best prices. Visit our huge showroom at El Campo Cycle Center, elcamposycle.com. Victoria All Sports is a family-friendly gun shop with everything you need for your next hunting trip. Not only do we carry the most popular brands of handguns, rifles, ammos, and reloading supplies, but we also carry the largest selection of deer blinds and feeders in the crossroads. Whatever your camping or outdoor needs are, we've got the best cast iron cooking supplies, knives, apparel, and boots available for the entire family. Victoria All Sports, located at Houston Highway, right here in Victoria. Gifts, gifts, and more gifts. Come to the homestead and leave with the perfect gift for everyone and every occasion. advice for us as new New Yorkers. Just, you know, stay out of people's business. <laughs> we want to invite you to experience our digital streaming service, Crossroads Today Plus. You can find it on your connected TV through Amazon, Fire TV, Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, and on your cell phone. Just search Crossroads Today Plus. So in a new study, researchers played recordings of different types of speech and different speakers. When they studied video recordings of the encounters with cats, they realized the cats had subtle reactions to their owners. These included moving an ear or turning their heads. Cats reacted to their owners using a high-pitched voice called cat-directed speech. 
than when they nor spoke normally. The cats didn't react when it was a stranger's high-pitched voice. James, I think that's a sign for you to get a cat now. I would, I've had three in my life, <laughs> but we're a bunch of cat lovers here, aren't we? We are, we are. <laughs> All right, Howie, give us our hot chocolate weather. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. We'll start off with the, with, with the small craft advisory marine forecast. That's right, so be careful out there. Strong winds, seas occasionally up to nine feet, bays on the rough side, and then that water, woo, 54 degrees overnight. Yes, that is hot chocolate weather for sure. 44 degrees, not as bad though as the night before because a little bit of that cloud cover will hold in some of the little heat that we do, that we are hanging on to. Now for tomorrow, 56 degrees, mostly cloudy, 30% chance we see some light drizzle. So still uh, blustery, blistery, one of the two, I'll get it right, I'll look it up. It's one of those two words. Looking ahead to Victoria, here is what we have. So in the 50s through Friday, that boundary comes through Friday night into Saturday, knocking down temperatures. Bring in some rain, another possible alert day. You can see strong winds, you can see rain, maybe even some strong storms. And then we do start to warm up a little bit Sunday and into Monday. But look what happens though. Okay, a lot of cool temperatures, a lot of cool days, but the reward is coming for at least me. I like the warmer weather because Tuesday 61, Wednesday back up to 72. Karina, James. All right, thank you. Thank you for being with us. Remember, we're always on at Crossroads Today Plus. We hope to see you back here tonight for 25 News Now at 6. World News Tonight with David Muir is up next.